in Malaysia, this legend was able to carry on the dawah to such a degree that he managed to assemble over a hundred thousand people. And Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tell ta ta ka ni ta ku pa ma. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and you're watching Funny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really, really amazing. You guys are super amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, putting uh, much effort to watch our videos and stuff like that. And if you want to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to hit that post notification button and you'll be the first person to watch our videos whenever we drop them. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. And this one right here is, uh, was suggested by a lot of people. And they say that we are uh, like, I or we should go react to the truth behind Dr. Zaki Naik band. Um, everybody knows Dr. Zaki Naik. He's a really nice scholar. He's, he has amazing teachings and stuff like that. But um, there's some things that um, happened to him and stuff like that. So probably we're going to find out and we're going to analyze it and we're going to discuss more about it. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. The truth behind the drama of Zakir Naik in India and now his ban in Malaysia. Assalamu alaikum mm. guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Smile to Jannah! <laughs> Ever since the BJP, the Hindu Nationalist Party, came into power in India, they have been after Dr. Zakir Naik obsessively and with a vengeance. For the allegation that I'm more the terrorism, it could not be proof. Then they said, I'm involved in hate speech, then they went to money laundering. Think of it like Tom and Jerry. But here, Tom is equipped with a police force, army, and a powerful country. And Jerry, on the other hand, has a microphone and a hat. They've tried to pin all these accusations on him, but they just don't stick. So the latest bullet in their gun was taking the matter all the way to Interpol. Interpol is the international police. But the ruling came in Jerry's favor. The Indians essentially want an international arrest warrant. Interpol refused that what they call red corner notice. Why are they losing so much sleep over Dr. Sam? Well, he has been given dawah for over 25 years in India. 25 years. He gets over 200 million viewers worldwide from his three-piece TV channels. He gets a hundred daily shahadas. Every day, alhamdulillah, hundreds of people, Allah is giving hilayat to peace TV every day. And he meets and advises heads of states. And Allah is giving the opportunity of us to meet several prime ministers and presidents of the world. That's why these guys thought it important to not only shut down his operations, but dismantle his workforce. In terms of people, we had 500 people working full time for us. Now, only three, four. Forcing him to go and settle in Malaysia. Even in Malaysia, this legend was able to carry on the dawah to such a degree that he managed to assemble over 100,000 people and still speak about the integral issues that are affecting the Ummah that not that many people have the guts to speak out on. Many of the eager Muslims in these concentration camps, they are tortured. And with the current Kashmir crisis, the Indian government is trying to censor the people that are trying to speak out against their atrocities. I mean, they're trying to get Twitter pages banned, they're trying to get videos removed. But despite all of this, he still decided to speak out against the crisis in Kashmir. That means now they are learning how Palestine was destroyed and overtaken by Israel. Now they want to do it to Kashmir. What is the Muslim Ummah doing? Nothing. Props to him, but it came at a price. A quote of his was taken out of context flung around all over the media. He was questioned by the police for 10 hours, banned from speaking in public, and the Prime Minister of Malaysia stabbed him in the back. He was talking about sending the Chinese back to China, and Indians back to India. That's political that he wants to participate in racial politics in Malaysia. Now he's turning up racial feelings. Now here's his statement. And later on, 
and all the other people coming afterwards. Malaysia, they get fully Muslim. Then you have the Chinese coming, you have the Indian coming, the British is coming. They are our new guests. You know, somebody called me a guest. So I said, before me, the Chinese are the guests. They are born here. So if you want the new guest to go first, I'll the old guest to go back. Seems logical enough in a three-hour lecture where he's talking about the double standards and hypocrisy of the media. And he gave case studies ranging from Bhagat Singh, Nelson Mandela, all the way to George Washington. And then he mentioned that the Hindus in Malaysia were still supporting the Prime Minister of India. And the main point he's trying to make here is, in India, you're not allowed to support anyone other than Modi. But here, people living in Malaysia, they're not supporting the Prime Minister as much as they're supporting Modi. Now these are logical points being made by a critical thinker, yeah? But the real reason here is Malaysia is a small country, yeah? And they're getting a lot of pressure from India, as are other nations as well. And they can't afford to fight against India. Let's look at the giant Muslim nations, yeah? you got Saudi. At this moment in time, They've just invested billions in India. On the other hand, you've got Abu Dhabi. Yeah? They are giving a medal to the Prime Minister of India. So what do we really expect from countries like Malaysia? Because when stuff hits the fan, Malaysia is going to have no one to turn to because one country is going to be busy handing out medals and the other one is going to be busy investing in the countries of tyrants. And whether we look at the Turkish media, the Qatari media, or even the... Indian media. Look how they introduced Dr. Zakir Naik. Dr. Zakir Naik is somebody whose ideology has influenced many terrorists. A controversial preacher. This controversial Islamic preacher. A controversial preacher. Controversial preacher. Controversial preacher. Hate preacher Zakir Naik. Hate preacher Zakir Naik. And ironically, he's been cleared from all of these charges. I mean, let's take terrorism and extremism. The same only single newspaper reported against me first July the attack took place. 3rd July 2016, the Daily Star gave an article on me. 4th of July, majority of the Indian newspaper went against me. A few days later, they gave a correction. Okay, they gave a correction that we never say that the Akin Act inspired the terrorists. If you read, if you read the charge sheet of the Bangladesh attack, my name is not mentioned. If I was the main inspirer in the Bangladeshi charge sheet when the person was accused of doing terror, my name should have been left on there. It is only there in the media. Or oh, money loans. The judge of the court, Justice Manmohan, he said that there is no evidence at all that Dr. Zakir Naik is promoting terrorism. I have seen many of his lectures. So it's tough times. We pray that Allah has mercy and assists all the preachers that are trying to raise his name and his religion. In this day and age, if you don't have enemies, you're not doing the right thing, frankly. And this is the reason, guys, I speak out on these things. And I 100% encourage you guys to do so. Because if you don't, there's going to be a time that there's going to be no preachers left. There's going to be no Muslim countries that have a spine left. I mean, I'm struggling already to, to find some. So speak out against these injustices in whatever social media platforms you guys can. Some of you guys, mashallah, are really well spoken. More well spoken than me, frankly, you know what I mean? It's a very profound quote that I live by, yeah? And I want to share it with you guys. It says, it's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. We know Allah has promised victory to Islam. But now the question is, when the going gets tough, Will the tough get going? Are we going to be people that only hang around when there's glory? Or when things get rough, we start changing our identity, we start blending in? No guys, this is an opportunity where we can get maximum reward. Now the dawah is needed. Yeah. So give and you will notice that Allah when He uses you, Allah will bless you in your life. Things will start going right for you. Outwardly, it may seem like you got enemies, but inwardly, as you have peace. Why? Because you are trying to raise Allah's name. If you raise Allah's name, how on earth will Allah not raise you? Okay, next time. Is it, is it true football is coming home? Brother Muhammad Salah asked a very good question. Um, my name is Raju after losing for Egypt and coming home empty handed. He has the audacity to ask what? In the football, I'm coming home. If you're in life, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>
Well, uh, there you have it. For the people who are actually uh, speaking on the comment section saying that, uh, talking much about Dr. Jackie Naik, how he is manipulative and all those kind of things. Uh, I can't speak much about him and stuff like that. I don't know him that well. Uh, probably he has done some things. Probably he hasn't done some things. The only person who knows much better about him are the people who are closer to him. And I believe that someone is uh, is uh, is free until proven guilty or something like that. But uh, according to the, the 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 accusations, he looks pretty much uh, innocent. He looks pretty much there no evidence as to why people should call him those type of names that he 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 launders money and stuff like that and all those kind of things that people are putting on him pretty much allegations you know he does a good job he preaches he has some good points and whatnot about islam and what and and, and all those kind of things you may not want to agree with him. You may not want to stick into his what do you call this? Into his gospel or whatever the thing that he's doing. But um, I think his intention is not ill intentions. His intention is more of trying to get as much as Muslims as possible. You get it? He might have said words in a bad way, but people deserve to be corrected and deserve to be given chances to. To be a, a better person in future but anyway such a such a lovely information over here uh the truth behind dr zaki Naik banned in banned in is it malaysia or something or banned in india yeah in india i think it's um i think people are judging too much people are trying to put so much head on someone that probably they don't even know probably they just had news because sometimes sometimes media can propagate things that uh that that are not true and you end up falling for the for the uh for the media and that's why i'm saying media sometimes is the catalyst of of all these things that are happening today in the world it, it, it portrays bad things i mean it, it portrays people to be th this type of people and and it, it's so manipulative and stuff like that but anyway Yes, yeah, so if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction. What you feel about this video of Dr. Zaki Naik, the truth behind Dr. Zaki Naik band. What do you think? Do you think that uh, he is... Uh, he? Do you think the allegations that are put on him are, are true? Do you think that he should be prosecuted or he should be taken to jail and stuff? Just let me know in the comment section below. Don't be harsh. Just give out a point and we will look at it. We'll be able to analyze. We can discuss and whatnot. Just let me know in the comment section below. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Then we keep on subscribing. Then we we'll give us motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And if you have any kind of reaction, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to do anything that you want me to do and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you'll be contented on the reactions and, and, and whatnot. Just let me know in the comment section below. And last but not the least, I'm going to see you in the next video and peace out.